Fit Fam. Welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time if you're new. My name is Holly and I am a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. And this video is gonna give you my favorite post-workout protein shake meal. Um, so this was pretty quick and easy. You're basically just gonna, basically just going to either throw it into a blender or into a shaker cup. Um, so the quick, easy version is to just throw it into a little cup like this where it has the shaker top just dump all the ingredients in there. For more of a smoothie milkshake consistency, I like to use more of a blender um, or a mixer, food processor, and throw some ice in there. So really the only thing that changes is just putting in ice so that it mixes it up and makes it more of a thick, creamy shake type consistency, um, which can be a little bit more satisfying, I would say. But if you just need something quick and easy, you can always throw it in a shaker cup and just shake it up um, about 20, 30 seconds, and it'll still taste great. It's just a more thin consistency. So protein shakes are super important for after a good hard workout in order to rebuild your muscle, um, repair all that damage that's done. Whether it's a long endurance workout, like I had it this morning after a long bike ride, um, or it's after weight training where you've been breaking down muscle. So this one's gonna be a chocolate protein shake with a little bit of a coconut flavor in there. Um, but if you don't like coconut, you can just skip the coconut ingredients. So what you're gonna be using is, I'm using Modus Nutrition right now. So this is the just chocolate flavor, pretty simple. Um, they just sent me to this, sent me this asking to review it. So I actually just got this and tried it for the first time about a week ago. Um, I tried it with this blended version and then this morning I just had a super basic protein shake with pretty much this, a little bit of water and milk and chia seeds, um, and either way it tastes great. So some protein powders don't taste so good unless they're blended with a lot of flavors and ice. This on its own is actually really good. Um, I wasn't sure, because a friend of mine had tried it and didn't really like it, and I just asked her why, and she said it was too chocolatey of a flavor. So for to, to me, there is no such thing as too chocolatey. Um, so I actually really like the flavor of this. I wasn't expecting a whole lot, um, because it is made of pumpkin seed protein, chocolate bean powder, potato protein isolate, um, and that's and uh, there's a cranberry protein in here too. So it's basically a vegan protein powder, um, and it also includes nine grams of fiber, which is quite a lot. So there's 11 carbohydrates and only nine grams of fiber. I mean, 11 carbohydrates and nine grams of fiber, so you're really only getting two carbohydrates. Um, and it's, the serving size is 220 calories with 30 grams of protein. Um, so I've just been doing one scoop because I usually don't need a full 220 calories because of the other ingredients you're about to see that we will add in here. So you're gonna do one scoop of this or any chocolate protein powder that you happen to like. I would always suggest organic. Um, and a lot of the vegan ones are good. They're gonna be a little bit higher quality and we'll be skipping out on a lot of junk fillers. So like this one only has maybe 10 ingredients in here, which is why I like it. Um, the other things are like pink Himalayan sea salt. Um, and what's there? I'm not even sure what the sweetener is in here, but there's no um, aspartame, sucralose, anything like that. So it's actually very sweet without a lot of junk chemical sweeteners. So you're gonna take one scoop of protein powder and then I mix it with unsweetened vanilla coconut milk. Um, you could do almond milk or rice milk or whatever you happen to like. I just don't recommend dairy, like your normal processed dairy is just not great for you. Um, so I use about however much water I'm doing. You can kind of do this to taste. I probably do about a fourth to one half cup of coconut milk and then I just add in water to taste. So it just kind of reduces the calories a little bit, but if you want a, a higher calorie, thicker shake, then you can just use all milk. Not a huge difference there. And then also gonna add in a teaspoon or about half a teaspoon of maca powder. So this is really good for um, increasing energy and endurance. Um, it's supposed to be good for hormones, um, for all kinds of other things. It's an adaptogen, so it's really good for helping to regulate stress in your body. Um, so this is just a great healthy um, supplement that I like to throw in there because otherwise by itself 
I mean, you're not really gonna do a whole lot with it. So I like using smoothies to throw a bunch of ingredients together that I normally would have a hard time eating, such as chia seeds and mushroom powder. Um, so a bunch of superfoods that I'm gonna continue to explain. Um, but this is one of the reasons why I like protein shakes. I will throw as many good, healthy ingredients in here as I can to get the most bang for my buck versus just protein. So about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of maca powder. Um, this has a good kind of just like earthy, malty taste in my mind. So you're probably not gonna notice a big difference um, in taste. Depends how much you put in. And then chia seeds, again, I'll do about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of chia seeds, which are a great healthy source of fats. Um, and omega-3s, which are really important for your body and help to reduce inflammation and help to heal and repair your body. Another thing that I like to throw in there, again, because it's kind of a weird taste and hard to blend with other things, is mushroom powder. So this is from Wild Foods. This is their number four, four blend, which basically has reishi mushroom, um, shaga mushroom, and cordyceps. So uh, cordyceps in particular are supposed to be really good for endurance. So I like to use that before workouts or just in my post-workout shake to get it in my body um, in order to help with energy and endurance. Um, these again are adaptogens, so really good for helping to balance out your body and balance out hormones. And just as a note, mushroom sounds really weird. A couple things, one, this is not uh, like medicinal mushrooms, not like shrooms, um, even though it says shrooms blend. Um, and the, it does not taste like mushroom. So I know it's weird, but it really doesn't taste like mushroom when you eat it, so don't expect that. Um, and then the last thing is I will normally top it off with just a little bit of shredded coconut and I'll just stir that in at the end. So I'll shake it up or blend it up and then I'll just add a little bit of coconut, shredded coconut on top. Um, just for a little bit of texture and a little bit of flavor. Um, I like the kind of almost chewiness that that and the chia seeds add. Um, but if you like more of like a chocolate milk consistency, then you probably don't want those in there or the chia seeds. So any of these things are optional, of course, but this is just a way that I like to get in a bunch of superfoods and make my protein shake as healthy as possible with as many great supplements as I can to help with recovery and continued endurance and good performance. So all you're gonna do is mix, again, about a scoop of this, about maybe fourth to half a cup of coconut milk. You can fill the rest with water if you like. And then again, about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of each of these super foods that are gonna improve your performance. And then top it off with just a little bit of coconut. And that is it. You'll have a delicious post-workout shake. And again, you can either blend it in a blender or just shake it in a cup. Um, and hopefully you will love that taste. There are other options too. You can always add in things like peanut butter or a powdered peanut butter for a little extra taste and flavor. You could add in some banana in here. You could add in some spinach or some greens that you like. So you can always toss in some other things for additional flavors, but that's usually my go-to. And again, maybe I'll add in some protein powder or even uh, something like coconut oil if I wanna get in some healthier fats. Um, so feel free to be creative and throw some other ideas in there, um, but definitely recommend Modus Nutrition. Um, I'm really liking this right now. It's hard for me to find a vegan protein that I actually think tastes good and tastes sweet enough and chocolatey enough because I wanna uh, feel like I'm eating dessert, basically. Um, and this is basically really geared toward athletes and toward health and not a bunch of junk filler chemical stuff that's in a ton of protein powders out there. To find a really good protein powder is hard. So um, I will put their information down below so that you can purchase that. Um, additionally, it's also gluten-free, um, just so you know. Um, if you have any questions about any of these things or what they do or other ideas for protein shakes, you can put comments below and let me know. I'd love to um, help answer your questions or give you other ideas for protein shakes. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. Try it out and let me know what you think and leave those comments below as well. All right, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Good luck on your fitness journey.